How's it hanging dudes? My name is Sean and welcome back to my channel where we happen to be putting humanity first. You know what I'm saying? You gotta fight back against that mainstream media and how they have that Yang media black, you know what I'm saying? And today Yang has responded. Let me go over here and get over get over here to the to the Twitter so we could twat about it, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so Yang, you know what I'm saying? Yang all day on my Twitters, on my Twitters. I ain't gonna shout out this Twitter, this is my old gaming channel. You know what I'm saying? It's now a big deal. So, Yang, hmm was asked to appear on MSNBC this weekend and told them that I'd be happy to after they apologize on air, discuss and include our campaign consistent with our polling and allow our surrogates from our campaign as they do other candidates. They think we need them. We don't. Damn, boy, that was a rough. Shots have been fired. Man, this tweet is just blowing up, and it's just, I'm so glad Yang finally came out swinging, taking a punch at MSNBC. That is just sad, man. That's so sad. And it just shows um, just how the mainstream media is. He had, For him to even have to make this tweet is insane. It's crazy. We shouldn't have to do that. Let's take a look down here at the, um, do we have any? Have any comments here? Let's see. <laughs> Look at this some of these memes. Twitter is just exploding. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Gosh, I love Twitter. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> that was savage. Oh, man. Speaking times. Yes. Yang, six minutes. Isn't that crazy? 32 minutes in before they even allowed him to speak. That is just... It's sad, man. It's so, it's so sad. It's so sad. And people are just <laughs> memeing him. <laughs> so bad. Yang is exploding, man. It's it's going great. And I'm just so glad that he's finally. I just wanted to bring this to your attention, guys. You know, I have nothing more to say about that. Just wanted to get the video up just so you guys can see. For those of you who haven't already, it is excellent. And I'm so glad he's finally taking shots at MMC because they deserve it. MMC is dying. There's a boycott against them. And as it should be, as it should be. I don't even have to go into the details of how they cheat Yang. It's evident and it's apparent and it's obvious. They leave off his polling. They leave off his graphics. It's it's sad. It's really is sad. Also, um, just upload a couple videos. My last few videos have been demonetized, and it's only been the Yang videos that demonetized. I can go all the way back, and only uh, none of these have been demonetized except for the Yang ones. So I don't know if that's just faulty algorithm, um, or if it's part of the coordinated uh, Yang media blackout. And I'm hesitant to do like a Patreon or ask for donations or anything like that, just because I feel like at this point in time, any who is donating should probably just be donated to the campaign this reason why I don't really include my PayPal and stuff like that um, you know even most of my gang merch uh, sells beyond you know the person who made the art is actually going to be going to Yang anyway so it's like not really making much and but them demonetizing this just if you guys could just go back and share your support on some of these videos like especially like the Pete uh, video you know I've been trying to branch out do different content to to expose and showcase how these other candidates and how um, the lame stream media is really you know dropping the ball uh, and plus, you know, you know, I like to I like to crack these jokes. You know what I'm saying? I like to make fun of the mainstream media. So, if you like my other takes on some other videos, please go share the love. Like, and plus, Kyle Lindsay did such a good job exposing Mayor Pete, and it's so important. People don't understand how important it is to expose these these other candidates. Like, we can make gang videos all day long, and they'll probably do better on my channel. But at the end of the day, if we don't showcase how like Biden is out of touch and how Kamala Harris is crazy and how uh, Pete Buttigieg is a bought and paid for candidate, if we don't show that stuff. Um, especially to our own our own base and stuff like that, Yang supporters, even Tulsi supporters, even if there's any on the channel. If you don't showcase that kind of stuff, we're not going to have any any ammo to fire back at them whenever the time comes. You know what I mean? So make sure you show some love on these videos. Um, I appreciate you guys like always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.